Um, my name is Rachel Webster, and um, I grew up in Louisiana. I completed my undergraduate degree at Louisiana Tech University in environmental sciences and minored in forestry. Um, I completed my graduate work at Northeastern State University in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, um, and I, it was environmental health and safety management that I went into for my master's program. And I work in the environmental management field for the chemical industry, chemical manufacturing industry. And I teach part-time at Columbia Southern University um, in the environmental sciences and in the safety sciences. The first time I ever saw uh, what I believe is the ivory bill woodpecker was um, when I was in my teens, um, about, I think it was like, like the late 90s. Um, and, uh, you know, I was really into forestry. So I was uh, walking through the woods, practicing identifying the trees. Um, and I was, you know, looking on the ground. Uh, I saw some slash pine needles, which was bundles of two. And so I look up to, to examine the bark of the tree. And as I looked up, uh, there was a huge woodpecker on this tree. And he gave me a look, he glared at me and fluffed his crest and he took off. Um, he took off and he, you know, hit one tree onto, it was on the right. And then he flew immediately to another tree on the left and flew at a, like a slight angle and then he was gone. Um, so that was the first time I saw the ivory bill and his uh, bill was very white and it was like whiter near the base of that bill. <laughs> so yesterday, um, I actually uh, saw one near the edge of a creek uh, down in a bottom uh, and it was close to the ground and it was raining. So I believe that's why, um, you know, I got within 30, 40 uh, yards from him. Uh, I don't know whether it was a male or a female um, because I was seeing him through the trees um but the bird must have been facing me um, because it flew up and then it like banked to the side and i saw a very long uh ventral view of the wing with it had white in front white in the back and a black kind of strip through the middle and then it the bird leveled off and then flew down the creek bed um what I really want and the whole reason I'm in this whole ordeal is um, I'm really a, a big fan of the forest um, and I think that the ivory bill needs uh, you know some management and some conservation specifically around some of the uh, forest resources that we have um, so that's what I would personally like to see happen is for everybody to kind of work together and um, share what they know. So uh, I've been involved with Mission Ivory Bill and I'm gonna be doing one of their Zooms tomorrow to share, you know, what I know about the Ivory Bill. And hopefully others will do the same.